needing a, a needle and thread, your oval gun, and you'll be needing your metal Alice band, the tin is 0.2 inch, and then your elastic band. Here I have the thick sling one, but you want to get the flat one and have my scissors and my bias. So what we're going to do first of all is to take the um, Alice band, remember it's the 0.2 inch wide Alice band, and I'm going to be putting my oval gum on it then I will take my bias or you can take any slim training um, I take it that most times the ones that are slim the 0.5 inch easier to use to wrap around than ones that are fatter so anything slim like that you can make use of it ribbons trimmings whatever you like okay but most times to be able to use it for anything the best is to make use of um, black color okay so now what I'm going to do it's I would wrap just the the first layer just and put it a little bit out of the tip so that I can stick it together and there's no iron sticking out which can injure someone's ears or neck when it chokes around do you understand okay so once I'm done with that what I'm going to do is I will take my um, needle and thread and also get my uh, elastic band now this elastic band is measured seven inches but now it depends on how elastic it is these days you get some that are thick and some that are um, I mean strong and some that are very elastic so if it's very elastic you need to reduce it further so anyway I'm sewing it now as I told you I'm using this thin thick one because that's what I found around right now but the best actually is to use the thin um, thin el el um, elastic band or you make use of the flat one the flat the 0.5 inch elastic band okay so let's keep watching how you get it tied around and to hook so that it stays and it doesn't come out Once you're done with sewing anyway to check to ensure that it doesn't loosen what you do is you just give it a drag do you understand you just give okay then once you finish sewing it what you want to do is to then tie it remove the thread and then wrap it around what you have just sewn to cover up your sewing and then we're going to be wrapping it all around the the alice band as you can take your bias and wrap it all around the alice band like so keep watching and learning <music> Once you reach the end, you're going to do the same thing you did in the beginning and that's to sew the um, elastic band on the bias that you wrapped at the end and then you wrap it back again with your bias. And that's how you wrap your headband. If you enjoyed this video please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and check out this new video on another tip you would like to learn.